you can't hear the music. It's playing 80s music. It's like house music, but it's not playing just in my head. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the penultimate stream of, of this amazing, amazing, amazing Art Print Expo. This is Sideshow's Art Print Expo that has been celebrating not only the art print, uh, uh, the fine art print program at Sideshow, which uh, you've been seeing a lot. You just go to art.sideshow.com and you could see everything we got but also we're celebrating the artists because if there's no art without artists right i mean seriously this is a no-brainer so today i get I, i'm really really excited because such a fun human being such a fun human being such a fantastic artist responsible for some art that you may see or have seen if you caught that brilliant freaking awesome art print uh, a gallery show that we had earlier today at 10. If you want, you can go check it out on our YouTube channel. Um, oh my, I keep fading back here. Hold on, there we go. Um, so anyways, back to it. We're here for an episode of Ink Tank, which unlike a normal artist interview, this is actually gonna involve some drawing. So I get to have the grand pleasure of getting Orlando Aracena up here. Uh, Orlando, let's get up here. <laughs> what's going on, man? Get up here. Hey, hey what's up? What is going How on? How you doing? It's been a it's been a bit. Not too oh, long, yeah. but it's been a bit. No, it's been a bit. It's been a minute. You know, yeah. it's all good. You yeah, know, no, you're no Medusa still, surprises. You know, pretty hairy. No, no, no. Hey, man, that Medusa was fun to draw last time, man. You know, if we have to do it again, we'll do it again. Absolutely, no problem. But uh, this thing's growing even more, right? From last time. No, I I chopped it, it, it off. I ah. chopped it off. It used to be. Remember, it used oh, to be like man. purple or something or red. I don't remember what it was. So ah, purple dude. or red. I I told you, you got to get that thing like, you know, braided and then dreaded and like put skulls in there and like, you know. All right, corn, I'll do it now. Hold kernels. on, I got some things I could just. Now, <laughs> now. wow. Okay. Oh, I'll just I'll put a little brush in That's my totally beard. <laughs> love, I don't know. Um. So anyways. uh, Dude, loving those, your background, man. Loving your you, background. You love it, right? I drew loving this myself. Huh. I drew this myself. I did, <sighs> I did vector art. It was really cool. Oh. So, so for those that don't know, we may have some new people. Listen, we're in we're in the sideshow uh, Facebook page, the sideshow Facebook group. Let your geek sideshow YouTube, Twitch, and we may have some new viewers out there. Um, and we're also in the Hall of Frame group, Orlando, which you better join if you go to side.show forward slash Hall of Frame. Definitely this is where we're we're celebrating art artists and the sideshow fine art print program in there, and we just love people showing stuff off. So, especially if anyone orders this, as soon as you get it, we want to see it. So, and then uh, of course. Orlando, you are one of these artists that we work with a lot. We've done we've done some cool prints with you, um, including a couple of my holy grails, which is fine. But uh, oh, you man. know what? Let's talk about one. Let's bring up the Fantastic Four one real quick. This one Ooh. is out of control. This hey, Doctor Doom print. You go to side.show forward slash FF Expo. This one is crazy. And I wanted to bring something like this in the background, but I have a green screen, so we we'll just go right through it. Uh, um, that's all right. <laughs> It's oh, all right. Yeah. But uh, dude, what, what do you like about this one, man? What's the thing is I love the energy shooting out from the center. And that's something that I notice in a lot of your prints. Anything with energy is a lot of bursts of light and color. And then uh, real quick, I want to give a little wink, wink. Let's bring up this dark side print, Ooh. which um, I don't know. I've never seen it before. It's not something I've ever seen. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Go to side.show yeah. forward slash dark side expo. I mean, you're just basically seeing my screen now because of the glass, yeah. but uh, make sure you're doing that. And then, uh, but then of course the, the stars of today's show, the stars of the today's show, we're going to get to a little bit later, but for now, by the way, this is another one where I love the energy, like the energy of, of dark side coming through. Hey, so, you know, I appreciate it. You guys love it. And I'm always happy to be invited to play with uh, the sideshow team. We, you know, you we, guys rock. We love and the audience them. is awesome. So, I mean, hey, I'm also a collector. You know what I mean? So, oh, I've seen it. If, and if everyone goes to at uh, Mexifunk on Instagram, you could see some of his collection. Sometimes you go in and un unboxing things and, 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 and showing off your stuff. Like, you're real sure. Oh, totally. Totally. I mean, I, 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 I don't know if it's a total show off, man, but I'm just, you know, a happy guy. When you're a happy guy. Ha I'm a happy guy. Happy, happy guy. guy. Happy All right. Happy so. Guy. We're going to bring up your art sit setup in a second, but real quick, actually, you know, let's bring up the art setup. Let's bring up your art setup. Let's bring up it's, it's, it's what, what pretty is blank right now. I mean, Illustrator. Right now, it's just all blank. So you're going to be doing stuff for us in Illustrator, which is you're going to be doing what's called vector art. Now, a lot of people might not know what wow. vector art really is. So you can kind of like 
do a little breakdown for him because because you have a nickname in the Adobe Illustrator community. What 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 is your nickname? I don't know. You tell me. I can't. I don't want to say it because it's you know it's this is oh, your come show. Come on, man. What do you All mean? Right. Your nickname is <laughs> the Mexican that broke Illustrator. <laughs> That's the nickname you told me they gave you. <laughs> the Mexican who broke Illustrator. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, I guess that's. I guess that's true. Yeah, you know, I've heard you say uh, it in, in a number in, of interviews, and I was like, yeah. "This is the nickname that you, that, that they you gave know, you." Um, President of Adobe might say something different. I don't think he used me the word Mexican. No, but, no, you no. Know, you know, it's all good. Um, hey, I just it's, it's a program that I picked up back in '97, and I picked it up just because everybody else was playing around with with Photoshop and. I just wanted to do something. I wanted to go in a different direction than than what everybody else is going in. You know, not to say that you know uh, I don't enjoy Photoshop. It's just I, I I just wanted to carve out a different niche for myself because uh, I just I just like challenges. You know, and plus at the time I was working at agencies and 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 Illustrator was what we were building logos with because the benefit with Illustrator is that you're able to have this graphic, this, 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 this kind of file that you could stretch out or you could super enlarge uh, to an infinite scale. So, I mean, I, this, I could send you a graphic that's the size of a stamp and the footprint would probably be maybe, I don't know, 500 K. Right. And then I could email it to you and you could open it up, send it to your printer and say, I want to drape all of the Brooklyn Bridge with it, and it'll keep all all detail. It would keep it all resolution, no fidelity, right? And yeah, I mean, it just doesn't lose anything. So um, I was really, really um, turned on by that because I was like, "Wow, man! You know, if I could totally play with that, that that'd be a lot of fun." So you know, um, the other thing that I love about it is that you know, you could do things like like what I have on my screen right now mm -hmm. is just a simple shape. Right. right. This is just a simple shape. And when I go into like uh, preview mode, which is like x-ray mode, when you get to see all the shapes and all the all yeah. the uh, anchor points, it's just one shape, you know. So okay. I just, you know, it's it's totally different. I mean, it's more math based. I mean, there's things on here that you just can't get away with that you do with, with say, uh, Photoshop, like you know, uh, smearing colors into one another and, right, 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 you know, right. righteous paint brushes, you know, if I just broke into paint brushing when in vector just about you know, three years ago. Right, right, and, right. uh, and, uh, it wasn't easy. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't because, easy, it's, man. It's because you've been training yourself on, you know, the, the, the shapes and like you said, and, and, and you're basically working with shapes, working with files, working with math. Oh, and by the way, Oh, look, Rob has put up your, the, the link side dot show forward slash Orlando to see everything we have. Um, so that's, thank you, Rob. That was, that nice. was very forward thinking. Um, and I, and Orlando, before we go any further, I want to read you some comments. Uh, uh, Stevie gents won your Magneto print this week. No. And is also wow. a fellow Pratt Institute alumni. Get out of here. Nice. Yeah. Well, congratulations, man. And then, right um, on. collector Myers, uh, has one of his favorite purchases is the HD aluminum dark side, which again, I cry because of that. Captain Marvel uh, HD aluminum that I will uh, that is has escaped my grasp, um, and then uh, Arellis Delgado got uh, your Scarlet Witch for Christmas. Oh my God, Tom! Did you say Aurelius Delgado? Yes. Oh my that? God, that that's my buddy. No, no, that's my buddy's uh, my buddy Aramis's uh, sister. I went to uh, I used to live in uh, Castle Hill in the Bronx. That's right. And my crew, you know, New York baby. Yeah, yeah exactly. Aramis. Is Aramis that? is the one who gifted to her. Yeah. yeah, that's my boy. All right. <laughs> Shout out. Nice. Well, I'm glad um, that Aurelius got her uh, poster. And, you know, wow. God, time flies by. Time flies fast, man. Jesus. And so, like, cool. looking at it, how you're working on it here, it's cool because, like, you click that second shape and then it kind of gave you all these points that you can manipulate. Is that how that works? Oh, yeah, totally. So, you see all these green nods or anchor points, you know. Um, I could select one and and take it take it off scale. I mean, I could pull these Bezier curves around. Whoa. Whoa, right. And you gotta draw a little skiing guy, kind of like dying ah. that, 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 that you know, looks like looks like some some dude's mouth, man. He's like, ah, put some glasses over here. <laughs> ah. Right. Um, so, uh... <laughs> so um, but yeah, but this, you know has 
some hint of light and shadow. Mm -hmm. And once again, it's it's just a shape. It's just I a shape that you're manipulating. Yeah. yeah, I haven't I haven't painted anything yet. You know. All right. So while you're um, working on this, and you don't have to look at the screen with us, you can keep you can keep working your art. I'm bringing oh, up. Uh, let, talk to me. Let's bring up Megatron first, because you we now up for pre-order. We have both Megatron and Optimus Prime. So if you go to side.show forward slash Megatron Expo, you can get this. And as you can tell by my background, I'm a very big fan. I do I do love this. Oh um, man, you rock. <laughs> and the Optimus, which is at side.show forward slash Optimus Expo. I don't want to hear any comments. Um, Optimus <laughs> Expo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pre-order the Optimus Prime. But I want to talk about some of the, the choices you made. And you may need to look over at, at, at the printer, but you also remember the print. Like yeah. a lot of the really cool things in here, like you had the background, you have uh, the, the Japanese writing, you have a lot of the light and reflection. Um, but I love this grid that you did in the background. Um, so what like kind of inspired, just even just speaking about the background before we even get to the foreground, just the background. Oh man, um, the background I'm, I'm a kid from the 80s, right? And so, yeah, and watching Transformers on Channel 11, um, totally, I was totally just wrapped into it, man. I was I was loving it. When the comic book came out later on, I was into that. Uh, I unfortunately couldn't have the toys, um, oh. the original toys, for, for probably the first season. Right. Because, you know, they were made out of metal. And me and my crew had a tendency to play out in the street and, if you lost a battle, <laughs> that was a good something great to clobber your buddy across the head with. What and, like a uh, nice, uh, you know, like you get the back of Optimus Prime truck and <laughs> nail him in the back of the head. And Sancho yeah. Collectibles, Sancho Collectibles does not endorse beating each other up. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. At, at all. Not at all. But you can imagine. But you know, um, when I was when I was creating these two prints for Sideshow. Uh, I was like, man, we went through a few sketches and, and the concept was like, let's have, let's do something unique and do a very narrow panel of just a headshot and have them, how, have them, you know, have the collectors out there right. want to own them so that they could butt them up against each other so that they're, they're kind of, I mean, you know, this, cool uh, they look together. dynamic, this, this yeah, that I, I, I've, thanks. But, but the packaging from the original gen one series Right. had this really cool like you know faded color depending upon whether you were an autobot or a decepticon if you're a decepticon especially with the megatron box you had this beautiful fade of like this purple all the way to this black and then you had this grid line right. to bring this like digital notion to it and i right, was like, like making oh, think of robot and stuff yeah i was like man that's that's where i want to go with this as far as the background and then the japanese kanji uh kanji um i I called up my buddy Kaz, Kazo Mori, who's mm -hmm. also a, a fellow artist. And I was like, I always bug him. I'm like, hey, Kaz, I need your help again, man. I need you to translate um, Optimus Prime and, and Megatron. But I need you to be like totally bro NDA on this, man. Don't 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 go be like telling everybody what I'm playing around with right now. Right, 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 right. I mean, it's it's pretty tough. Like, you know. Um, got to keep a lot of secrets, but then you, you also got to keep a lot uh, of those secrets need, going, man. You need some tips. You need some tips. You know, so uh, that, that was the whole the whole dynamic. Plus, I wanted to bring in some of my graffiti influence, like, you know, um, stripes and flares and, mm -hmm. and that haze that kind of mimics that aerosol kind of look to it. Um, and and the whole the whole uh, halftone effect, you know, um, I want to do something different to, to bring it within that 80s appeal you know not that i was like looking at uh roy lichtenstein uh but roy you know, lichtenstein yeah, yeah well, you know that actually brings me in because actually someone in the audience asked that question <laughs> uh not 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 specifically lichtenstein <laughs> but um but he you know lichtenstein used a lot of the bende dots right that that are here uh -huh. like you see a lot i mean you could see a little bit here uh rob if you bring up the the graphic real quick again just either one of them like if you look close you could see all the little bende dots like so someone asked, um, did you scale them? Hold on. How did you, how did you scale the Bende dot pattern? Was that all hand-drawn or was that also like, is that like a, like a shape or, or like a brush that you work with? Um, I did a number of things. Like you could go into Illustrator mm -hmm. and do a whole bunch of like native halftone patterns. Um, I actually go a different route. I actually... Okay. Um, did the illustration of, of Megatron or say right. Optimus Prime. 
right. did the whole illustration. And then what I did was that I, I exported it out as a uh, JPEG. Mm -hmm. And I then brought it into Photoshop. And in Photoshop, what I did was that I turned it into a grayscale uh, image. Yeah. And then I went into making it into a halftone. So everything that was there, that you see there, um, ended up being retranslated, re-exported back into Illustrator, where I then um, rendered out as vector and then superimposed it onto everything else and then kept on building upon that within layers. Man, so if you got – this is like when, when you when you buy like a 200-year-old a house and you start scraping the paint off and just layer after layer after layer. You know what I mean? There's – ah, man. You know, this was a very light file. I think I might have had maybe – uh, less than 50 layers. Usually when I'm doing my, my posters for either Sideshow or for, for some of the movie studios, right. the movie theaters, um, I don't know, ever since last year, they've been going easily into about 300, 400 layers plus. My goodness gracious. <laughs> my goodness how do you gracious. Lift, how do you lift that? Uh, do you um, even lift, bro? Do I lift it? Oh, dude, you know I'm... <laughs> I, I imagine this like little flash drive that weighs 600 pounds oh man I've it's like this big that. the file just weighs so much <laughs> <laughs> oh Dude, you gotta call you gotta call a national guard to come and have it lifted man yeah you know your, um, Jürgen Krevitz over, I think I'm probably, Jürgen Krevitz uh, over on, on YouTube is yelling at me because I keep distracting you from your drawing so I apologize Jürgen um and Daniel Douglas, by the way, also on YouTube is shouting out saying that you and O and I used to work together as art directors and we'd use all the same programs, but no one in the agency could figure out how you do your magic. You're a vector genius. Look at that. Oh, Shout out. man. Look at that. To Owen, to, oh, man. Dan Douglas. Nice. Uh, Dan Douglas, man. Uh, that guy was awesome. He was fantastic. Yeah. Seriously, he was a great uh, teammate to have on, on the creative side because um, big Star Wars fan big mm -hmm. um transformers fan i mean to this day like this right. he has a collection that i just I, my jaw just drops and hits the floor man so i'm glad that he's actually uh doing well and happy and, and tuning in man yeah you know? tuning in i have That's no awesome. idea what we're, what we're playing around with man right now i'm just no listen going in, creating colors in here here and out but like you know? what you did um, was so while we were talking it, it didn't even look like you were drawing. You were just like clicking and clicking and clicking. And all of a sudden, like you were flashing and this and that. And all of a sudden, you've got a nice sky. You've got a, I don't know what's going on now. Now I'm, now I'm, getting, now I'm getting very <laughs> confused. Okay. But, but you know, the thing is about this is that to us, <laughs> it looks like just a bunch of random shapes. And then you click a button and it comes together. And that was so cool because like I see a landscape. I see a sun. I see the mm. mist of a sunrise or a sunset happening. <sighs> And dropping the, the the colors all over the ground. I mean, it's really it's actually making me a little uncomfortable because it's kind of bordering on magic. On magic, yeah, that thing kind keeps of, on popping up, man. You know, it's like um, well, because when you when when you see traditional drawing, sometimes that is also magic, where you like you don't know where these shapes are going. But this is like a whole other level where you're clicking, you're clicking, you're clicking, and all of a sudden you're like, all right, let me click this one button, and there's now a bunch of shapes that are now recognizable, and it's absolutely fascinating. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what, you know what the problem, you know, you know, there's, there's, there's no problem at all, Alex. You know, sometimes I get, I get lost, like, um, yeah. having to, to think about what, what, what to do, you know? And it's, it's sometimes it's a true challenge, man, to, to, to team up with you and, and like, and like be like, Oh yeah, no, you know, and just spitballing. And right, so how's this? Up with. I'll give no, you a little sick. I'll give no, you a second to draw. Going, no, keep on no, going. I'll give you. Keep on going. I'm going to do something now. I'm going to do something now. I'm going to throw this off. I'm going to. You're going to draw a little bit. Why? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run a contest. By the way, so this is the first artist stream slash you know ink tank that we're going to be running a live contest in. So, what I want you to do is, Rob, if you could please bring up uh, what I don't know, bring up whatever it is. Uh, uh, bring up something. Yeah, there you go. Now. Check out the bottom. It's side.show forward slash giveaway and side.show forward slash terms. Uh, remember that these are, you know, unfortunately not open to international because of international giveaway laws. So keep that in mind. But you're going to comment hashtag Orlando and the space I agree. And what you're agreeing to is the giveaway terms and conditions. So 
we're entering you in now for a uh, for a giveaway for the Rob will bring up the graphic, but for the dark side print, it's going to be the unframed oh, version snap. of the dark side print by someone named Orlando. So see, now you can concentrate while I'm doing all this, this, this fluffer stuff. So make sure you comment hashtag Orlando. I agree. And at some point we will, we will run it. Uh, Rob is collecting the names on the back end. It's all, it's all collecting you, collecting you. I don't know. Now I feel like, you. Like, like I'm collecting people. Um, Are you collecting people? You know, that could be illegal, dude. Yeah, I think it is. I'm collect. I'm collecting their names. Um, hold on, uh, we get a bunch. Um, anyways, so we're going to be running that in a bit for that dark side print. And like I said, just remember you're agreeing to the terms and conditions, which unfortunately include um, no international, uh, no international because of international giveaway regulations. Uh, that means Orlando, you can't win either because where are you right now? You're not in I'm the in, Bronx anymore. No, man, I'm in Colombia. Oh man, how's oh, the weather man. down there? How's it going? Uh, rocking a t-shirt in sweats. Yeah. Dude, I'm like in flip-flops, man. Check it, you know. Wow. wow. You That's know? what I want. And right, dude, I'm telling you right now, you're lucky not be up in New York because yesterday was like 50 something and tomorrow I think it's going to be like 17 again and the day before was like 15 degrees. It's going up and down. So much. how's the weather there? Nice and steady and warm? You there with the family and enjoying it? Oh, totally warm, man. Uh it's a rainy day today, but you know, it's 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 around mm, I'd say it's around maybe 75, 75 degrees out here today, good. That's which, good. Is, which for, for here is pretty cold. Yeah. You know? Oh, my Most goodness. You're one of those like, people who's like, oh, it's 80 degrees. I'm oh, no, 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 no. I'm not. You know, my family is. Yeah. My family, they're like, oh, my God, it's freezing. You know, I'm like, ha, ha, man, I'm in, I'm in a T-shirt, man. I'm chilling. You're chilling. You're, like, you're, gonna, you're gonna get sick. You know, the whole, the whole nine, man. No, you know? not you. Not you. We got that New York blood. So, um, listen, here's the thing. How did, how did, so now you, you, you transplanted, right? So, you know, you, you yeah. just very recently down there, but how did, uh, how, what, is there anything about New York that affected your, uh, your drawing style? Cause I, I always ask this of artists because I always feel that it's true that like sometimes where they grow up kind of, kind of translates into what kind of art they're doing or influences the art. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, being a kid from the Bronx, mm -hmm. um, the subway totally had a huge inspiration on me, you know, seeing all the um, graffiti at the time. Right. Graffiti art was just intense uh, during the 80s. It, it was just so dope, so awesome. Um, no matter where you went, no matter where you traveled. I mean, you, I could be driving with my dad on the weekends to go fishing and we'll pass by a bridge and that right. bridge would be like totally slammed out. Or, you know, you're just riding the subway, looking out the window, and uh, factory buildings on top of factory buildings would just have enormous pieces on them and just uh, tags all over the place. And, um, you know, it's it's kind of like the way uh, where I'm at now. Uh, I'm in Bogota, Colombia, right? right? right Bogota. Right. And here in Bogota, um, street art is all over the place. And I love it. Like, I walk out... And I could see, you know, there's there's times that I'll that I'll actually walk up to a few pieces and start analyzing, checking for dates. And right. I think I found a piece that was from uh, Mode Two from '78 or '82. Yeah, I mean they 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 don't they don't buff over them over here, man. Like it's see like that's respect. Actual museum, right? And um, I wonder if that also like the buildings, because again with vector, it's a lot of shapes, a lot of angles, a lot of even though you do a lot of round and a lot of smooth edges, like I wonder if like the buildings also probably like subconsciously or consciously affected you. Oh, totally. You know, um, the buildings, architecture, you know, being a city kid, um, I, I, I was totally inspired by, by almost everything, right. You know, not, not only what the city had to offer, uh, from a tangible level, but also, you know, um, developing friendships with, with folks that were from a different culture, Right. Oh yeah, you know, we, gotta, and, we have everybody out here. Yeah, seriously, and and, and it's dope because uh, as long as there's a level of respect, uh, there's a good way of trading ideas and culture and 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 positivity, right? right? And oh man, I, I I had friends that were Filipino, and they 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 they, they knew how to outdraw me, man. Seriously, at yeah. that age, and it was just this really great camaraderie, but yet. 
you know, tongue in cheek kind of rivalry. We were like, oh man, yeah. dude, you know. And we were drawing on like, you know, chalkboards. Like we, were, we would get commissioned by the school to do like pieces, like my me and my crew, you know, at the time. And uh, it was it was dope. It was dope. But uh, the city, you know, its culture, its vibe, um, its brilliance. Even if it's even in its most ugliest or dirtiest swampy state, man, you know, still had some flair that I would look into and be like, oh, damn, this this is dope. And, you know, here in Bogota, um, you know, I, I often reflect back, but I'm totally appreciative of where I'm at, you know, here. Right. You know, well, yeah, because I mean, there, there's stuff to learn from wherever you go, especially with art, you know, because like you must have had, like I said, with your friendly rivalries, they're egging you on and that just makes you better. Right. Well, that's how friendly rivalries should always be, you know? Um, Not taking each other down, building each other up. Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. And that, that, that should be more. I mean, I like, I love uh, supporting a lot of artists, up and coming, established, new, new folk uh, throughout their social. I don't get to jump on social that often right. just because of, of, of my schedule. Like, it's good know, to be busy. Um, it's good to be busy, but at the same time, I, I, you know, I don't like to be on there all the time because I have a life, I have a family, yeah. and you know, I don't like to be connected as often as I used to. Right, I get it. Know? But if you, by the way, for everyone, if you go to Instagram and follow uh, Orlando at at Mexifunk on Instagram, you're always sharing artists. Like who's shout out an artist right now? Cause you're always sharing an artist that has just gotten their work produced or just like, and that's how I, I learn about new artists from following artists that support other artists. So pick an artist. <laughs> Here's the pressure. I'm putting the artist pressure on you now. Okay. Pick a random uh, artist and shout him out. Michael Rice. Michael Rice. Yep. Rice. This one's for you, Rice. Like, like Rice. Like Michael Rice. Shout out to Michael Rice. From the UK. How awesome right. is that? That's what I'm saying. It's all about supporting each other and, and building each other up and moving each other, helping each other get to the next level. This, by the way, is such a wild picture. It's giving me like um, vibes. It's like alien world vibes, but like then it's got this like 2001 Space Odyssey, like, like a shape coming out of nowhere. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. I don't think nice. I'm going to sleep much later. Um, <laughs> you know what we're going to do? While, while you're doing that, I'm going to bring up, mm -hmm. Rob, bring up bring up the, 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 the spinny thing that doesn't sp actually spin. So we're like, now we're going to actually pick a winner for this dark side print. Not this one, because this one's mine. You can't have it. Shout out to Steph. Shout out to Steph. This was my birthday present. Get out Steph, of here. Really? A, a brilliant birthday present. Um, so here we go. 103 entries right now. It's still coming in. Hit that button. Oh, we got the names. We got the names. Oh, we got the names. snap. Got the names. Oh, Who's snap. it going to oh, be? Snap. Who's it going to be? Oh, snap. It's going to be oh. Ron, Ron E. e. Over on YouTube, are you here? Shout out, shout out, shout out, Ron E. I want to, I want to be able to see you, um, because if you enter, uh, if you send an email to side. Dot show, no, not side. Dot show. What am I talking about? Rob, Rob shaking his head back backstage. Social at sideshow.com. <laughs> Social at sideshow.com. Oh what God, you want? Check you out. Where you want it? Oh, Ron's here. Hello, Ron. There you go. What you want? where you want it uh so that is the dark side uh print here you can bring it back up here rob real quick the dark side by orlando arsena and this is uh uh the ink tank this is our print expo ink tank that's where you want it and then uh you know name address telephone number you know your favorite color and your favorite breed of dog um, and send that to social at sideshow.com and uh, we will get that out to you. Congratulations. So real quick, I want to bring that. Let's bring uh, Orlando's art back up one more time. I just want to take another peek at this freaky eye in the sky. Oh, now you're seeing, this is what I'm talking about where you, where you create these shapes that are like bursts of light and energy. Oh, Hey, um, I love to draw. I love to plot out points. All right. Um, it's it's all about the fun of playing in vector. You know, it's, it's totally it's totally not Photoshop. That's you right. know, folks are like, hey man, you know, how do you how do you maneuver? How do you move around? Right. You know, and and it's it's always uh, everybody has their own. Every vector artist has their own their own way of playing around with with right. the, with the illustrator. You know, so. Right. Oh, the uh, right now I'm just 
duplicating things. So you duplicate it, then you could do like sort of like a symmetrical thing. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. And do you have your glove on? Your special art glove? <laughs> I put right, my for, the people, the pe for the people that just that are that, that, that have been here, um, I, I showed I shared with Alex that you know throughout the years of having to be in the industry for over oh man twenty five years now, um, I've I've. I'm wearing my Wacom glove now because <laughs> I have a callus on my pinky, right? From from all the years of of, of drawing. Yeah. All right. And the callus isn't nasty. It's not like some crazy, you know, the it's thing. Not gross. You know, it's, it's not just... gross. It's just, you know, it's uh, I don't know, man. I think it's just something of of right, you know, of like yeah. righteousness that you have to go through when when you're a digital illustrator these days. Yeah, I know. I, right. I've been noticing it more and more with the digital. I, I love that I'm still wearing the glove. And for everyone out there, but Orlando, can you do it? Remember what I showed you beforehand? What I showed you beforehand. You think you could do too legit, too legit to quit? Oh, dude, I can't do that, man. You're you're the only one that could actually get away with that, man. I I'm can't. the only one who can get away with it. Um, so what do you? Um, just real quick, what one one last question? Just because uh, someone in the audience had asked, because I, I know we're uh, we're going over on time, but I don't care because I enjoy talking to you and I enjoy watching you do art, but. Um, <laughs> What what is your setup like? What is your setup? So you have Illustrator. Um, are you into um, a PC, a Mac? Do you have a Wacom? Do you have a what? What, what do you? What is your setup that you're working with? Uh, I am on a PC. I am on a um, Z by HP Z4 tower. Mm -hmm. um, the damn thing is lightning fast. Nice. I have a 32 inch uh, Dream Color display. Which was originally created for DreamWorks Studios out in California. Nice. And um, so, how did you get it? How did you I know a guy? I, it, know I, I, I know. I know a guy. I know from from Canal Street that hooked it up for me. Yeah, on the back know? of the truck. Hey. From the back of the truck. You know what I mean? Uh, actually, it's 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 another component from the uh, Z by HP uh, family. Yeah. Um, you know, having to, they they invited me a few years ago to be a, a global ambassador. And with it, I get to beta test a, mm. a majority of the gear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I get a bunch of new, uh, and and you know, and we get to to trade secrets. We get to to the beta test. We go out to events like Adobe Max, um, and and we try to not only inspire but help educate through the gear. Right and. You know, um, it, it was a it was a strange shift over because I was on one of those uh, fruity brand computers, you know, a while back, mm -hmm. and like um, pear pear computers, or was it? Yeah, like, you know, one of those like kiwi you know, strawberry kiwi strawberry type things, you know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, when I made the shift, I was really worried because of the OS, and I was like, very "Oh different. man, you know, it's very different." And this that the other thing, and I totally jumped on, and uh, I really love the fact that you could. Um, go really deep into um, assessing how your hardware responds to what you're doing. Like, for instance, if I want to shift gears and I want to, you know, um, jump on a video game, you know, I could totally have my video card totally be amped up and ready just for that kind of specification. Or I could tone it down if I'm just going to do what happened. Who's whispering? It. Oh, I said, I <laughs> for, I was for a second, <laughs> I'm in the living room right now, man. For all you folks right now, I'm not in my typical studio. I had, I had my mom here. Like, who's from... whispering in my ear? <laughs> <laughs> it's the living room goes. I, 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 I literally jumped just now. I was like, yo, what the hell? Uh, I was just for... saying, I, I love that because I, I agree as a PC, <laughs> as a PC gamer, you know what I mean? Like oh, I'm a, damn. I have a PS5 and a PC game. And I do a lot of, most of my gaming on PC. So I love the ability to switch from one thing to another. I mean, I'm not going to show my brilliant of uh, my, my, my brilliant artwork that I got to show you during our, our, our tech test, but I will, here's a promise to everyone in the group and, and, and Orlando, like I said, you should join the group and share your finish, whatever you finish, you should pay up, post it in there. Um, I promise I will post you the art that I was drawing when me and Orlando did a tech test because it is oh, chef's it kiss. Is, it, oh, dude, you got to share that. Come on, man. I'm going to share. I'm going to share. I'm going to post it in there. I'm going to post it. I promise. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, all right. Right on. We're we're um, we are running out of time. We are a little bit. We are a little bit, a little bit over. Kizzy is yelling at me to show the art. All right. You know what? Kizzy is in the thing. She has now told everyone that I have to share the art. I'm going to share it live. Oh, you got to, man. But I got to find it. I don't know where I where I saved it. Oh man. I'm not going to look for it, man. 
Oh, you had I don't know where it is. Right it's there, a PSD? Man. Is it a JPEG? I was gonna wait. That's why I said I'll do it later. Now you're making me scramble. Oh uh, no, still... forget it. Well, I don't want to put any pressure on you, man. No, I, mean, not, I know. I know, I know how it is being an artist, man, and and All people, right. you know, you ready? That you do things, man. This is this is the as you're sharing your screen. This is the last thing we're gonna show real quick before I uh, <laughs> before we go. <laughs> this is my drawing, huh? Yeah, huh? Dude. What do you think? Dude, this is that's it. Rocking, man. That is it's so rocks, rocking. dude. You can't mess that with my art. Rocking. I'm like, I'm like, if Picasso and Rembrandt had a child, that's me. <laughs> so, it's totally you. This bro, is going you to know, free, this is going bro, to free, auction that off, man. Auction yeah. that off, man. Side dot show forward slash not in your <laughs> lifetime. Side dot show slash never ever will there ever <laughs> ever ever. Ever, ever, never ever that that's what ever, it ever. anyways um side that show slash it's not going to happen it's going to be uh it's uh that would be amazing imagine this as a life-size print on aluminum that would be amazing oh, so. dude. oh dude this is so cool now oh man all right but listen i do i did prom we did have a timeline i do have to let you go but we'll talk obviously me and you talk we me and orlando are kind of friends i know i drop his name like all the time but that's because you know he's my boy <laughs> he's my boy so i can Bro, talk to I, him I am so happy that you're that that my boys, man. Seriously, yeah. because I worry about you and and being up there up north, and it's cold up there, man. Yeah. You know, you got to take care of that beard, bro. Seriously, that, that's what yeah. I'm saying, man. I I got sweatshirts, I got blankets. I'm I'm gonna wrap myself up. I'm gonna drink some hot soup. But right now, it's like fifty something degrees, dude. Anyways, what? Yeah, it's like fifty something. Oh I'm man, gonna, I thought you guys had like an, I thought you guys had like another snowstorm or something. Oh day. no, let's see. Hold on. I'm, I'm such a nerd. Oh, it's 38 degrees. It was 55 this morning. Really? How crazy is that? Yeah. So, all right. Anyways, you're very distracting and I love it. Um, I'm going to force Orlando to post this somewhere so I can post it in the group so you guys can see the finished one uh, because this is quite brilliant. And um, this is going to be my newest uh, background on my of my life. Back here. That's going to that's gonna be back here. Next live stream I do, it's going to be back here, man. Hey, uh, I'll have it done and ready for you guys very shortly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I'm going to kick you off. I'm going to kick you off in a second. First, let's, I love this art. Um, I just want to talk oh. to you real quick and say thank yeah. you for doing this with me again. Like oh, I man. could talk to you for like two hours and you know it. You know. Oh, you know, you know, I could hang for even longer, man. Yeah. You know, so. uh, it's, it just gets really tough sometimes, man, because yeah. you really grill me with a few with, with a few questions. And I grill you. Uh, yeah, dude. I'm just like, oh, man, Mexican. I bring the pain. Oh, God, dude. Listen. It's like the house of pain. By the way, I say that in the community, I literally watched a, a interview with you where you called yourself that. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't remember, but I were watching. I was like, oh, that's good. I'm going to bring that up. I'm going to get I'm going to get like a gangster tat over my yeah. my, my abdominal man. Yeah, with like yeah. the face of Montezuma right in the yeah. middle, like, you know, with the belly button saying so I'm Mexican broke, who broke vector. Who broke vector. I'm going to so, get the uh, president of Adobe to sign it, man. Sign it right in there. Sign, 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 my, sign my gut. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, listen, again, I appreciate you coming out here, uh, coming out here. I appreciate you coming on here like you just flew anywhere. Um, we're going to do this again because, dude, you're too much fun to not bring on here over and over again. So. I promise we'll come oh, back. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate right? it. No, seriously, right. thank you so much for having me on. Uh, thank you to Sideshow. Uh, thank you to the whole audience. Thank you to uh, Dan Douglas, Owen, Aurelius, uh, wh whoever else just signed on and like tagged and and you know and the winner of the uh, of the print. Oh yeah, Ron E. Congratulations! Ron you e. can't take mine, but you're getting your own. You're getting, oh, oh, you can see the reflection of my terrible drawing here. <laughs> Dude, you got to turn that into a tattoo, man. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to get a tattoo. So on, whoever wants that tattooed, uh, send me a photo. <laughs> All right, Orlando, I'm kicking you off screen just so I could say goodbye. But say goodbye, everybody, one last time. Hey, take it easy. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, you guys rock. And uh, keep keep an eye out for my latest, which I can't I wait to see what you're working today. on next. Ah, oh, dude, working so much, man. I know. We can't so talk much. about what you're doing next because, you know, we, we, we know you always got something in the pipelines. But for, right, for now, everyone, <laughs> check out those Transformers. You know, bring them before you leave. Bring them on screen one more time, Rob. First, Optimus. Mm -hmm. Side dot show forward slash Optimus Expo. And I specifically made sure it says Optimus Expo. <laughs> and then the next one, which is 
side.show forward slash Megatron Expo. These two prints, honestly, you, you have to choose your side. I wouldn't choose sides. I would, I would, I would get them both because they look so perfect together. All right. Thanks. All right. You guys rock. Thank you so much for having me on. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll finish up this print and I'll send it over to you. Cause you know, you, you want another backdrop, man. So, I need another backdrop. So. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I will speak to you soon. Hey brother, man. Keep it awesome up top. All right. Uh, absolutely. Keep keep it keep it cool down south. Right? <laughs> I can say cool things. And New York. All right. All the way. All the way. Boogie down. Oh, boogie down, Bronx. All right. Boogie down. We're, getting, we're getting too weird. We're getting too weird for them. I don't know. What do you think? Ah, let's keep going. Even going. though I said I'm gonna go. Let's, yeah, no, let's all right. Get going. out of my face. I'm done talking. Oh, man. Done. Damn oh. All right. I love you, brother. We'll talk. We'll speak soon. I'll catch you on Instagram <laughs> right. in like 10 minutes. Take it easy, bro. All right. Thank See you so you much, Sideshow. Enjoy. Peace out. All right, so that was Orlando again. He is such a cool dude. I can't even stop talking about him. He's so much fun. Follow him on Instagram at Mexifunk. Bring that up again, Rob, one last time. At Mexifunk. You will laugh. You will cry. And you will see some awesome freaking art. And he's going to share some so much art of colleagues and friends. It's a nonstop art. Pro, you know, he's an art expo in himself. So um, make sure you stay tuned. This is the last mainstream of the day. But if you go to side.show forward slash geek group, we have uh, that sideshow show, which is going to be fun. We're kind of wrapping up the day, and there might be some special guests, and there might be a giveaway or two. I don't know. I'm not there yet, so I guess I'm not there yet. Oh, I just gave away a secret. I'm not there, so I don't know. So make sure you go join the group. And uh, also Hall of Frame, one last time, Hall of Frame, side.show forward slash Hall of Frame, where I'm going to share my pick for a drawing, and then uh, later I'll share uh, Orlando's drawing so we can all check it out together. All right, thank you very much. I'll see you at five Pacific time. And as always, don't forget to let your geek side show. Bye, everybody. <laughs>